I can't believe I have to say this in a Minecraft video, but here it goes. A giant Owu has been constructed on the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft. Almost two million blocks of obsidian were used in its construction, and it casts a shadow across many different biomes. Now, I know exactly what you're thinking. Fit, why on earth would a group of players work together to create something like this? Well, the reason it was built is actually quite interesting, and once I explain it to you, it'll make perfect sense. A new group on the server decided to prove themselves, and what started out as a joke ended up becoming one of the largest man-made obsidian structures on the entire server, with players planning the build's construction, placing obsidian around the clock, fighting off griefers and PvPers brought in by a traitor, and even forcing unarmed players to mine obsidian in factories for hours. It's actually kind of ironic because the term Owu is supposed to invoke feelings of cuteness and excitement. Well, you're about to find out that the build's construction was anything but cute. And it's a wild story. Surprisingly, for being such a ridiculous build, a lot of research was required for today's topic. And considering I'm a grown man that has to say a woo a bunch of times in this video, if you'd consider hitting that subscribe button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Now then, our story begins in October of 2020. It all started when two friends named Beast Machine and Neo Paladin had been playing on 2B2T for quite some time. In their adventures, they met a lot of interesting people around Spawn, with many of them being skilled builders. Both friends finally decided to start a group together and invited all of their new allies. They called themselves the Watchmen and began building bases and holding events near Spawn in order to spread their influence. Things were going well, but at some point, the group knew they had to do something more. There are many active groups on 2B2T, so standing out can be tough. One way groups have attempted to do this in the past is by writing names and symbols with large amounts of obsidian near spawn. Looking at the region from above makes it seem more like a billboard than a digital wasteland these days. But the group wanted to take part in this tradition in their own special way. They decided that they would build something slightly outside of spawn so they would have more room to work with. And they wanted to make their creation larger than what other groups had made. Now, the largest symbol still belongs to the Spawn Masons, but you have to remember that they used automated bot accounts to build this symbol over a period of time. Instead of trying to compete with machines, the Watchmen decided they wanted the record for largest obsidian symbol built without the use of dedicated bot accounts. But the question became, what were they going to build? Members of the group brainstormed for a while, and at one point, a player named The Wu Tu came up with an idea. His username was a reference to the song and album cover by the rapper Pop Smoke, in which the word Wu was written in black stylized letters, similar to the obsidian words and symbols that were on 2B2T. Wu Tu stated that if the group pledged to make this giant Wu as their project, he would provide at least half of the obsidian needed for the build. Another member of the group named Danctuary planned out the logistics of the build to see how big they could realistically make it. For the size they wanted, it was going to take about 2 million blocks of obsidian. The leaders of the Watchmen gave the project the green light, and the giant Wu was set to be constructed. But on the day the build was scheduled to begin, a major roadblock would appear that would completely change the entire project. Wu Tu, the player that promised to bring half the obsidian, no-showed. He was absolutely nowhere to be found on the first day. Many of the other builders waited hours for him to show up, but he never did. Frustrated, the group members decided to do some research, and it turns out that at the time, Wu Tu only had six hours of actual playtime on 2B2T. He was a fraud and had absolutely no obsidian to bring to the build site. At this point, he was dismissed from the project, and the group re-evaluated the entire thing. They realized that the Wu they were going to build actually meant nothing to them, and questioned if they really wanted to go through with it. One of the builders, nicknamed KK, made a joke that rearranging the letters of Wu would spell a Wu. That's when they all realized something. 
Changing their build to a Wu instead of Wu would not only make fun of the player that abandoned them, the joke would likely give their group far more publicity in the 2B2T community than originally anticipated. They also wouldn't need to waste time designing something brand new, as they were only rearranging the letters that they had already made schematics for. It was genius. And so the decision was made. A giant Owu would be created in the northwestern portion of Spawn. But then they realized. The build was going to require 2 million obsidian, and they thought that Wu 2 was bringing half of it. So where were they going to get the other 1 million obsidian from? I think you know exactly where this is going. They would build an obsidian factory and lead new players there to mine out e-chests. On Anarchy servers, ender chests are used as portable obsidian storage. Breaking one with a normal diamond pickaxe will drop 8 pieces of obsidian. The new players would be forced to mine e-chests in the factory in exchange for eventually receiving powerful items. As the factory was being set up, construction of the Awu began. The Watchmen knew they had to be working around the clock. Since the build was so close to spawn, it would only take a few days for players wandering by to notice something was being built. As obsidian was mined in the factory, it was then collected by the builders and brought over to the individual letters. Many of the builders used baritone to mark out where they had to place the obsidian, and made choosing where to put it much easier. Progress was coming along smoothly, but there was yet another problem. Wu Tu, the same player that was released from the project earlier, was angry and looking to seek revenge for being left out. He began leaking the coordinates of the build publicly, explaining what they were planning to do, and invited griefers to show up and stop them from building. The Watchmen knew things were going to get ugly, so they told their members to be on alert for any potential attackers. As expected, one showed up, and immediately began griefing the factory and killing the workers. The Watchmen fought tooth and nail, and eventually, they managed to slay their opponent, but the damage had been done. One of the Watchmen had been killed in the attack, and the factory was in shambles. The betrayal by Wu Tu only motivated the group to continue working at record pace. So in a way, Wu Tu's plan backfired. A new factory was constructed and one of the builders, Haza, whose footage I've been using throughout this entire video, placed obsidian for over 24 hours straight at one point. Impressive is an understatement. After continued attacks, Watchman Da Vinci was given the role of guarding the new player's mining blocks in the second factory. Thanks to the additional security, one of the workers, QLTV, single-handedly broke more than 20,000 e-chests all by himself, resulting in 160,000 pieces of obsidian. Needless to say, he was given some really good stuff. Two of the workers, Paulie and Noble Brains, put in so much effort that the Watchmen were impressed and promoted them from obsidian miners to factory guards. As more new players were led to the factory, and as the builders also helped mine e-chests, obsidian production increased. It turned out that the build was only going to require around 1.8 million obsidian instead of the projected 2 million, so this actually saved a lot of time. On day 5 of the project, an attack happened at the second factory, this time from a different group, HWU, or the Highway Workers Union. They attacked the factory because the Watchmen had been using one of their ruined bases as a resupply area. A classic territory dispute. But by this point, the Awu had gotten so large that the Highway Workers Union simply couldn't grief it. Since the Awu was being created at build limit, withers could not be placed on top of it. A third factory was set up in a secret location off-site where the builders mined the last 100,000 obsidian needed for the project. On day 6, at dawn, after all the trials and tribulation, the giant Owu was finally completed, and the Watchmen had turned a joke into one of the largest man-made obsidian structures on the entire server. Now whenever new players would escape spawn to the northwest, they would be greeted and confused by this awe-inspiring build. The Watchmen had left their mark on 2B2T history and established themselves as a legitimate group. So on the seventh day, they decided to take a break and admire the giant meme that they had just put into the sky. 
All I can say is that after this whole ordeal, you better be hitting that like and subscribe button. Also follow my socials, but that's how the awoo was made. So take it easy, Fit Fam, and stay alive out there.